everyone, my name is Riley. I'm a physical therapist with Spine and Rehab Specialists, and today we're going to be going over the science of balance. Alright, so there's five aspects of balance. Uh, your vestibular system, which is your inner ear. Proprioception, which is your joints uh, perception of where you are located. The visual system, so your vision, muscle strength, and mobility, as well as your central nervous system. Mia, she's one of our techs and she's going to be our participant to look at balance today. So first we're just going to have her walk down to the end of the hallway here and you can see how she's able to keep her balance normally. Um, everything, her posture is good and then when she turns around she's going to turn her head side to side. So this is going to stimulate the vestibular system which is made up of your ears. You have fluid and canals in your ears which helps your body kind of perceive its perception and space and just keep that balance. When you're moving around, the fluid moves and this can sometimes cause some increased difficulty with balance. All right, so the next aspect that makes up balance is the visual system. This is an important factor for balance. Um, your eyes provide information on your surroundings, such as any potential obstacles that could cause you to lose your balance. So Nia here is gonna show you how she's able to stand on one foot normally a-okay. And then when she closes her eyes, it's a little bit more difficult. She's a little bit wobbly. And go ahead and <laughs> open your eyes again. And so this kind of thing can affect you. Think about when you're washing your hair in the shower and you're closing your eyes, you could lose your balance with that. Um, and the visual system also helps you just kind of negotiate your environment. If there's rocks in your way, grass, all that. Right, so here we're gonna look at joint mobility and strength and how that affects your balance. So Nia's gonna show you how you rise up on your toes and back down, good. And this allows you to help keep your balance when you lean forward onto your toes. You're able to shift that weight back into your heels to keep your balance or vice versa. When you're shifting back onto your heels, you can shift back into the toes to help you keep your balance. And then that's the mobility aspect. And then the strength is also important just because it allows your ankles to stay stable on different uneven surfaces. All right, so the next system we're gonna look at is proprioception, which is your sense of body position. So these receptors are in different muscles, tendons, and joints in your body. So you can see here, Nia's body can perceive when she's leaning forward into her toes, it knows to go back, lean back, and keep her position proper so she can keep good posture. This is good in changing environments to help keep your balance and when you're navigating like uneven surfaces like this or um, going up and down stairs, going out in your environment. So the last aspect of balance is the central nervous system and this integrates all of those other systems we talked about before to allow Nia to keep her balance. So you can see here, she's using her muscles in her legs and her ankles to keep herself upright, her vision to see the ball coming and anticipate so she's able to keep her balance. Um, here, she's also using the vestibular system to keep her posture upright, keep her head aligned with her body, and proprioception through those feet, just feeling the ground, feeling this BOSU ball move, and that way she's able to keep her balance safely.